in front of you is a mesmerizing image captured by the Hubble telescope. The brightest point in this picture is a galaxy known as the Sunburst Arc or PSZ G300 N1160 18.4. Strangely enough, the second brightest point along with the third, fourth and even the twelfth are all the same galaxy. It's as if the universe created a cosmic photocopy machine, reproducing this galaxy multiple times. But how did these 12 identical copies appear? And how many more galactic twins might we observe? Let's begin with a simple thought experiment. Imagine shining a flashlight into the night sky. You might think the beam would continue traveling indefinitely, and in a vacuum, you'd be right. On Earth, the concept of light falling back to the ground sounds odd, but in space, things change. There are celestial objects with the power to alter the path of light through the influence of their immense gravitational pull. Black holes, for instance, can trap light entirely, but other massive objects can bend and distort light in extraordinary ways. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing. In simple terms, it's when massive objects act like lenses, bending electromagnetic radiation just as a magnifying glass bends light. However, unlike optical lenses, gravitational lensing distorts light based on its distance from the object's center. The closer the light passes to the center, the more it bends. In the case of the sunburst arc, the light has been bent in multiple directions creating four main arcs, three in the upper right of the image and one in the lower left. Because of this, scientists can observe 12 distinct copies of the same galaxy. Interestingly, many of these duplicates are 10 to 30 times brighter than the original galaxy, which is rather faint and difficult to study otherwise. Thanks to these gravitationally magnified copies, astronomers can observe small regions within the galaxy, some as small as 520 light years across, which is incredibly tiny on the cosmic scale. While the sunburst arc is the brightest known galaxy to undergo gravitational lensing, it's far from unique. Astronomers have discovered nearly 100 gravitational lenses to date. If you look through a telescope tonight, you might even spot multiple copies of distant objects yourself. For a galaxy to act as a gravitational lens, it must have a mass of at least a trillion solar masses. Even our Milky Way fits this requirement, with a mass of about 1.5 trillion solar masses. In fact, it's likely that many objects we observe outside our galaxy appear split due to this effect. And sometimes, no telescope is required. When you gaze at the night sky, you might actually be seeing a copy of a distant object rather than the original itself. This was famously demonstrated by English physicist Arthur Eddington in 1919, who tested Albert Einstein's theory that large objects bend the fabric of space. During a solar eclipse, Eddington observed that the light from a star near the sun was slightly bent, confirming Einstein's predictions and catapulting him to worldwide fame. There are two primary types of gravitational lensing, the Einstein ring and the Einstein cross. When a distant object's light passes through a galaxy that lies directly in line with Earth, the object appears magnified, turning into a ring. When light is bent around a spiral galaxy, it forms the Einstein cross, where four copies of the same object appear around the lensing galaxy. One famous example is the gravitational lens known as G10200, where a quasar, 8 billion light years away, appears as four distinct points around a spiral galaxy located just 400 million light years from Earth. While some objects are too small to act as full gravitational lenses, they can cause microlensing, where light flashes briefly but no copies are formed. The discovery of gravitational lensing not only proves the general theory of relativity, but also gives us a unique window into distant corners of the universe. Einstein proposed that massive objects distort both space and time itself. Just like a heavy object distorting a stretched fabric, massive celestial bodies warp the fabric of space, causing smaller objects to follow curved paths. The moon orbits Earth, Earth orbits the Sun, and our solar system is pulled towards the center of the Milky Way, 
all because of space-time's curvature. Gravitational lenses allow us to observe faint, distant objects that would otherwise be invisible, and they remain the only tool we have for this purpose. Even our Sun, though much smaller than supermassive galaxies, can act as a gravitational lens. With its help, scientists have observed planet-sized objects over 100 light-years away. According to physicist Lorenzo Maccone, the Sun's ability to bend light could create images far more detailed than thousands of combined telescopes. Perhaps from millions of light-years away, extraterrestrial civilizations might see copies of our solar system. What do you think? Could advanced civilizations discover Earth by tracing the gravitational lensing effects of our solar system? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications and give us a thumbs up. And of course, share this video with your friends. It's always more fun to explore these cosmic mysteries together.